All right, so hello, visionaries, and welcome back to our channel. I'm super excited about our guest today, Melissa Wright. She's going to share a little bit about her experience in our certification program. She's doing both our um, our creative coaching certification for human design specialist. She's now in level three, and she's also doing the four radical transformations, which is the more advanced human design expression, and she's amazing. And so I cannot wait to hear just a little bit about her experience. So I'm going to just hand it off to you, Melissa, and just share a little bit about yourself um, and then share your experience. Okay, sure. Um, so I have been working with Raquel now for, I guess we're coming up on a year in like a month or two. And that's crazy. And I'm definitely every day so grateful that I found Raquel. I think it's really common in the coaching industry. So I've been a coach since 2011 and I pretty much have always had a coach and, you know, have invested a lot in growing my business. And I think most of the coaches that we find, especially online, tend to be generators or manifesting generators. And as a projector, so I'm a projector, I am so grateful to have found Raquel, who's also a projector and we're both splenic. And really especially as a projector it's so important to have someone that actually understands what it's like to be a projector and what it takes for a projector to be successful and unfortunately it doesn't work for us the way it works for most people and i think so many of the coaches that are out there that you can find online just don't understand that and so most of the coaching i've done in my life has made me feel more like a failure i guess and like more like there's something different about me where everything seems to take longer and it's harder and it's just so draining to have that consistency that most people are out there speaking. So to have Raquel not only teach me about the information in human design at such a deep level, but especially for a projector from someone who understands it so deeply and who understands people so deeply and has such amazing intuition that she always finds the right way to say what we all need to hear in the group. And I honestly, at this point, I still don't really understand how she handles a group as well as she does. I know that's definitely something that um, is somewhat rare for projectors too. Where projectors tend to like to, or feel more comfortable being one-on-one, -on -one, but Raquel's ability to handle the whole group and to share this information and this intel in a way where we all get it and we all understand it, it's really just magical. And the way she begins each of the certification classes is always magic. We start with this amazing centering that, like, I feel tingles every time that, that she does it. And it's such a beautiful way to start the learning process and the group of people that she pulls together. They're all such amazing women who have now like become some of my closest friends. And I'm so grateful for Raquel. And it's really fun too to have Davidian sometimes pop in with his amazing insights and genius. Um, but um, I've really, really enjoyed learning. Like human design has become an obsession for me. And I don't think I would enjoy it as much if I hadn't have found Raquel and had that amazing splenic projector energy and wisdom and insight in my life that um, the, my, my whole life is completely different now than it was a year ago. And I've really just been feeling how much more confident I feel and how much more solid I feel in who I am. And one of the greatest benefits too is just learn realizing how much that internal voice, you know, that like inner mean voice that wants me to feel like I'm not enough or I don't know enough or nobody cares or nobody wants to hear it, how that voice is becoming so much more quiet and so much less frequent. And that is just life-changing. That's, you know, there, that's, there's no amount of money that can pay for that. And um, I definitely don't think that I would have gotten here as quickly as I have without, without your account. So I definitely want to thank you. I am an undefined solar plexus, but I feel like I'm going to seriously cry, seriously like tears right now because I'm so moved, so deeply moved. I don't think I've heard anyone share about this like you just did. And it just moved me on such a deep, deep core level. I am so grateful to actually hear this right now. 
um, I feel so blessed to have worked with you. And I, one of the things that you said that was so amazing about the coaching industry, it really is intense. It's so intense. And, and most of the coaches I had were MGs. And I mean, I can think of three right now that I had that I was just so drawn to because, you know, I'm conditioned to be an MG, undefined throat, undefined sack girl, right? And I just really did feel like a total failure. And even if they know human design, it's very hard for them to understand. Like when they try and help coach you, they're going to go for like, well, what's, you know, what about your, your, your lack mentality and your this and all those things are really helpful. But the relief when you get to be a projector, the relief is so unbelievably huge. It's just like your whole burden of your whole life is kind of like lifted. And so I really appreciate you sharing that. And I also just want to say that watching you step into your genius and really allow yourself to be yourself has been so unbelievably beautiful to watch. Like every word that comes out of your mouth when you're not thinking about it, it's so magical. And so to get to see that diamond all of a sudden in the rough, you know, starting to like glimmer and have its like beauty shine. And, you know, I just really see amazing things happening for you and for your life and for your business. And um, so I would love to hear a little bit more about your business, what you're planning on doing, what you think is going to happen. And also it would just be really great for everybody to hear how you're integrating this stuff and really actualizing it um, for your own business. And I, I'm sure that that's a big part for projectors is how do we, well, for me practically, um, for you practically too, how do we practically, you know, put this in place and live as a projector and have a business as a projector. So I would love to hear some of that. Yeah. Okay. So when I first started the certification, it was really right before COVID. So I feel like we started in March and, um, when I first started, I was focusing on creating adventure retreats for moms because I really feel that, um, you know, it's so easy to kind of get lost in all of your roles and responsibilities as a mom. And really the whole path of me becoming a coach was inspired when my mom unexpectedly passed away in 2010. And I realized that when she passed away, she had just turned 60 and she had never learned how to be happy. And actually now that I, you know, I didn't know this at the time, but she was a projector as well. And, and I really think that her life was really just her feeling like she was never enough. Like, you know, like she was always trying to feel like she was good enough or like prove that she was good enough. And she felt uncomfortable around people who she felt like had more money or had nicer houses. And that was the energy that um, I absorbed for most of my life was that not enough and that I have to sacrifice everything to be a mom. And really that was the path that I was on when she passed away and realizing how many of the things she put off in her life for when the kids were grown and she was actually only like four months away from retiring when she passed away too. And all of these plans she had for when she retired that she was never able to do because she passed away unexpectedly. And so for me, I really reevaluated my whole life and how I was prioritizing what I was doing and how I was prioritizing my marriage and, you know, my role as the mom and realizing that life is too short and I couldn't afford to continue to follow down that same path of sacrificing everything now for some point in the future that may or may not ever come. And so that whole path led me, you know, the universe kind of steps in and led me. I didn't know I wanted to be a coach. I started in law of attraction and I definitely was not raised in an environment where law of attraction was understood or even heard of. And so it was really foreign, but, um, and then even when I was, introduced to human design was completely universe led. And actually the coach um, who introduced me, she was a generator. And while she introduced me to human design, like you said, she knew about human design. She definitely did not know how to support me as a projector. And, um, but so I was creating adventure retreats for moms because I really wanted moms to have the experience to kind of 
really feel into who they are and reconnect with who they are and what really makes them happy when they're not sacrificing everything. And I really feel like adventure helps you to do that because it allows you to kind of face those fears in a fun way, like fun fears, like, you know, maybe bungee jumping or rock climbing or things like that, where you get to experience that fear and do the thing anyway. And the exhilaration that you feel on the other side of those experiences is like the same level of the fear that you face. And so, I mean, experiencing that can help you to step into doing what you're meant to do in this world and living your life purpose. And, you know, and so in discovering human design and how that can support us as women and as moms into really connecting with what it is we're meant to do, how we really want to serve, the impact we really want to make, and how we can connect with our own um, courage and um, but our body's wisdom to do those things, even if it feels scary or if it's something we've never allowed ourselves to do before. Um, so obviously COVID kind of um, put a wrench in, in that. Um, and I was participating in another, like in a group coaching program but that I'd started before I started the certification with Raquel and the person who runs that one I found out is actually a projector as well, which kind of surprised me because she's a projector who understands human design, but still operates like, you know, like trying to be like a generator or a manifester, but it's still, it's still good. Like now I'm in this place where I have projector coaches at least. And, um, but so she actually invited me to share human design with um, her group, with the group that I was in, because she was kind of, she added some extra group things in for COVID, just to kind of have some connections since everybody was kind of locked in at the beginning. And when she first invited me, I was terrified. I was like, I'm not ready for that, right? I don't know enough. I just started. Like, and I think that the day that she invited me was maybe even like the the same day that we had our first certification class. It was like that same timing. And I was like, oh, I'm not ready for this. But um, I don't know, I might be a little bit off in that timing. But um, but definitely from what Raquel shared in that first class, it really helped to boost my confidence that I did know enough to share the basics with this group of women. And so she, at, the, at the end, she kind of pushed me to like make an offer to the group. and. So after that, you know, first little intro, little, you know, presentation of human design I did, I actually did get some paying clients out of that, which was amazing. So to have that opportunity to be acknowledged and invited and then to actually make money doing something that I just felt so passionate about because, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've just become obsessed with human design. It's my favorite thing to study. It's my favorite thing to talk about. And I just feel like I come alive when I'm sharing this information because I believe to the core of my soul that it's so life-changing and that I haven't come across anyone. I've probably, I don't know, maybe done 200 charts at this point now. Um, and I haven't come across anyone that's like, oh, that's not me. That doesn't apply to me. Everyone that I've worked with is like, I don't know how you know that about me. Like, that's so true. That's so me. And it's just so amazing to see how this information applies to everyone and it can improve everyone's life and it still blows my mind. I didn't have no, I can't even fathom how someone could even channel this information or come up with a system that works like this. But um yeah, it just continues to blow my mind. But I just have learned to trust it. And um so yeah, so my focus has shifted and but for me I still am really passionate about helping moms. And I firmly believe, like Ra says, that this information is most helpful to the kids. Because the truth is, you know, we've all grown up being conditioned and feeling like there was something wrong with us or trying to be like someone else who has some trait that we really admire and we think life would be easier if we also had that trait. And so we try to morph ourselves into being more like that person. And in doing so, we disconnect from ourselves and we lose the ability to really have those true deep connections with other people and it's a really painful place place to stay and, and that's really what i believe creates the trauma that we then spend the rest of our adult life trying to heal from um and 
Yeah. And so if we can bring this information to the kids and help them to grow and mature in alignment with their design from the beginning, where they learn to trust themselves and how they make decisions and they're supported in living their design and you know, their parents can help them to not be conditioned and their parents can be aware like when they're, they are going to have a tendency to condition them and they can stop themselves from making their kids feel like they're wrong and, or like they're not good enough or they need to be like someone else to make them proud or whatever. And so what I'm working on now is creating a program that right now I'm calling Family Insights. And it's really just the basics for families. And I'm introducing the each parent to their chart and the basics of their chart. And then I do that individually so that it's just that one-on-one -on -one energy. Because I found that oftentimes when the couple is there together and you kind of tell them about their, their chart, then the, their spouse is always like, oh yeah, there's that thing that you do that I don't like. That There's that really annoying thing you do. You know, that's not your fault. And so I like to do them separate first and then I bring them together and I show them the basics of each of their kids' charts. And then I do um, a little bit of the basics of like the connection charts and how their energy is going to interact together as a family and how that's going to play into their family dynamics to help them to, to find a better way to communicate and to kind of understand um, each other better and not take things so personally and, and all of that. So yeah, that's been really exciting and really fun to, to work with families like that and know that those kids' lives are going to be completely different because their parents understand them at a level that, um, you know, we all wish our parents would have understood us. And I think, you know, I think about too how, like, how many times have you heard someone say, like, I wish my kid came with the instruction manual? Well, I really feel like with human design, it, you kind of have an instruction manual for your kids now. And like, that's just so life changing. So, so nailed so yeah. it. That's so nailed it. Um, we are on the leading edge. It's the cutting edge right now. We're changing. The world is changing. We need new tools. Families need new tools. And, you know, I do really believe that the people who are integrating human design now, when it's this incredible changing of the wheel, are mutating and bringing the information in a way that the world really needs it now that you know Rob bless his heart and all of his work that he did has made his transition so i really see you you know and this is i just see this you being on the leading edge of that and so you know for those of you who have families and kids check it out i'll, I'll put some links in the description below also if people have kids families they're curious they want to know more about how to do that um i really do think it's going to take a very deep experimentation because you really want to watch it as you're integrating this stuff with the kids in action and really watching it and seeing how they're integrating it because you can you can only learn this stuff so much through the intellect and reading and thinking about it but it's the experiment which is living it and when you're living it with your kids you're going to have all new insights so um i think that you know, probably as you start doing this work and really watching it through the experiment, you're going to have more and more ways of bringing it out and bringing it forward. So I'm excited to see how it's going to work and how, what's going to happen and the evolution of it. And again, it's been totally my joy, my honor, my pleasure, um, to work with you. And I feel so blessed to have even just shared this time with you to really hear and sit down and hear your vision and just hear your experience. So I just want to thank you so much from the deepest, most bottom part of my, I was going to say heart, but really my spleen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like for sharing. So grateful to have had this opportunity and to learn from you and Definitely your certification courses are amazing. I'm, I learned so much. And if you are considering going deeper into human design, and even if it's not something you want to bring into your business, I still highly recommend the certification because Raquel goes at such a deep level, but at a pace where it's really easy to learn and apply into your life and, and you'll make amazing friends. Yeah, that, that's so true. Our group is the best. Oh my God. I love our group so much. I, yeah, love them. 
<laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. And if you want more on human design, we got some links below. I'll have more also on Melissa and what she's up to. And so thank you to this community. We do also have free videos if you guys are interested and in just learning the basics as well. Um, because it's true, this is the best intel that I think is available on the planet right now. But of course, we're both a little biased because we're both obsessed. So anyways, thanks again. And mwah, I love you all. And I will see you all soon.